saw this jigsaw and I thought it looked like it was quite a good uh, challenge. So let's just get it out of the box and see what it comes with. So here's the uh, box. It's a slightly smaller box than some puzzles come in. And here are all the pieces, nicely bagged up so you know you've got them all. And um, here is a picture of the whole jigsaw. Uh, I quite like these ones that come with a full size picture of the whole thing. This gives you some idea of what you're aiming for. And uh, I'll just spread it out over the jigsaw mat. So, assuming this is actually full size, which it may or may not be, um, it'll fit. Uh, now, it looks as if this is a slightly soft focus image. Difficult to tell whether it's a photograph or a painting. I suspect it's probably an electronically connected collage of images. Uh, the stuff through the window is slightly smudged, so that's going to generate a challenge. But the books are a bit sharp, so that's going to be interesting. So the first thing normally to do with any jigsaw is to collect the um, collect the edge pieces together. So let's have a quick. I think I might actually try making this one on top of the picture. That's uh, something I've not ever done before. So we're looking for corners and edge pieces to start with. This corner. Which corner that is. This corner up here, isn't it? That's that one goes up there. Yeah, that's where that one goes. Right, let's put all of these. There's another edge piece. There's the edge piece. Which I don't think I don't think I'm this picture out is going to help. It's going to be confusing when there's bits lying on top of it. So I'll just. Somewhere. Let's see if I can find the rest of the edge pieces and uh, I'll take it from there. Just noticed something about this puzzle, which I've not seen on a jigsaw puzzle before, but I guess it must be something that some of them do. Each one's got a letter on the back of it, and the letters tell you where on the puzzle they go to divide the puzzle into eight parts, and also which way up and which way round the pieces go. And as I'm sorting them into eight boxes, I'll certainly find the letter inside here. So using the pictures and the letters on the back, I've started to do the edge of the puzzle. Um, I went through all the bits looking for straight edges, and I obviously missed quite a few of them. So now I'm going back through and I'm sorting them according to what letters on the back. So I've divided the puzzle into uh, six, eight, eight pieces. Yes, eight pieces. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, down there, yeah. So there's eight sections of the puzzle, so that makes it a little bit simpler. And as I'm going through, I'm finding more pieces with straight edges, which is gradually putting the uh, edges together. So that's quite useful.